very hard, and I can guarantee you, every person who lives in, in my district, I have beat the doors, I have mentioned and talked to every member of this council at every single retreat we've had since I've been on council almost about uh, the flooding and the possibility of flooding and our infrastructure and Sugar Creek. I have beat on this council hard about that. I did not have it on the retreat agenda next week for this year because I knew that we were working hard, we were planning, and didn't think that a hundred year flood would happen again in four years. I was wrong. It did happen again. Not as severe, but it did happen. But our newspaper tends to write without doing certain things. And I wanted to talk about uh, six items of, for planning for an accurate newspaper article. One, listen to the answers when you ask someone a question and, in, and print the entire answer, not a portion of it. Two, please your, use your own newspaper articles as resources when researching a follow-up story. You can learn a lot from your own stories. Three, do not contradict yourself in your own editorials. Either we planned or we didn't plan, but our planning wasn't good enough. Four, please use sources for your stories who know what they are talking about. Five, don't apologize for printing inaccurate stories unless you are willing to do so publicly. Six, hire competent people to run and work at the newspaper from the beginning. I apologize if I've offended anybody, but I believe I just editorialized a little. And maybe the Times can learn a few things. Thank you.